So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. It seems like we got through the day with very little strife, very little issues. In fact, no severe breaking news of its kind to break out of the low doldrums of the news stations with their pre-recorded stuff for Thanksgiving. So basically everybody got the day off tonight. You get to watch the Stanley Tucci um, series that's on CNN and the replays of News Nation stuff. I guess Fox is doing some similar things on MSNBC. I've only checked a couple. I've been watching a lot of football today because that's what it's for. And yes, they get in some holiday movies from Hallmark because I'm a bit behind. But there have not been anything massively breaking. I've had enough news to post for the day for if we're doing things you might not have heard to do something tomorrow. So let me do my best to break up all of the goodwill and peace. No serious fightings over the dinner table, over politics. A lot of not bad Donald Trump news or not bad Kamala Trump news. Let me reinvigorate my little beef with Candace Owens because it is the season to start a fight. And big things happen for her in her world right now. Now, the headline for the story that we're going to talk about right now is a pretty simple one, and it's actually more or less a replay of the other, other one. Weeks ago, we talked about her being banned from Australia. Now she's been banned from New Zealand. New Zealand, always messed it up. Just, you know, a skip and jump up from the other nation. Uh, it's because of the words she's saying. Let me use the headline, the written up, write up by the robot editor first, and then we'll go back into the beef that I apparently have with Candace Owens. Conservative U.S. commentator Candace Owens has been denied entry to New Zealand, following a dissimilar ban by Australia. The New Zealand government cited a policy for prohibiting entry to individuals barred from other countries, so using Australia's ban to prop up their ban there. Owens has been planning to speak in engagements in both the nations, but her history of controversial remarks, including Holocaust denial and anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, has led to a lot of backlash from people coming to see her. Although it does mean she won't get a chance to show up and, i.e., get paid, it's still an issue for speech, if you will. In Australia, the immigration minister named Tony Burke canceled her visa, stating that her presence was not in the national interest due to her capacity to incite discord. Despite these bars, tickets for events remain sold. They, they keep buying them. So it's unclear what will happen going forward. Will they honor the tickets? Will they pay them back? Will they find a way to ship everybody to Greenland to watch or talk? That's going to be the big question going forward. But let's talk about my little beef with Candace Owens, if you will. Candace Owens has been on the scene for quite some time, and quite some time in various statures. She came on the scene essentially as um, a person who was complaining about racism, and now she's turned into one of the, the strongest uh, speakers on conservatism who happens to have a face that's of my pigment. Back when I was still doing radio about six years ago, I had someone ask me about her when she was uh, starting to take over, take hold with her, her roles and take hold in her actual commentary, asked what was going on. And I said at that point in time, you know, she's a grifter. I use other people as examples of people who seem to believe what they're doing, just black people doing conservative stuff. But she seems to be saying things that are just a little too odd, a little too on the nose, and just seem like she's a, a grifter and selling stuff. I truly believe she's a grifter and she's selling stuff. That's my opinion. I don't know her. And from every single interview I've seen of her doing, especially one-on-ones, one that really poked, uh, poked attention was uh, her interview with Don Lemon, which was combative to a point where it was just ridiculous. Like she like, was here to just start, start a fight and just be ugly. It goes in those, those lines. Now, there are many people who have a right to believe what they want to, and they can believe all the things she, they want to believe. And her being a supporter of whatever she supports, can't even really, really pin it down, is what it is. And every time I bring her up, I get hate tweets and I get hate uh, replies. So bring on the clicks because I need the clicks. But let's, let's get real for a second. Free speech is something that we have here in the United States that we're very dear about. We're very dear about, about, about having that. And when it's actually threatened in real cases, not people who think they're being canceled because you know, no one wants to hear them. But it's really actually being threatened. There are issues. There comes there. Candace Owens gets a chance to say what she wants to say and maybe believe what she wants to believe or let us, lead us to believe what she wants to believe. I don't believe she believes or she wants, she wants us to believe. That's my opinion. I don't know or I've not had to actually be with her to go those words. But when you have issues of people from other nations not allowing her in because of the things she's saying about anti-Semitism and about just general discord in, its, in itself, um, it may want you to think of something. 
the big issue we have right now in us as a nation and as people in general is we can't agree on what's a good take, what's a bad take, what's an evil take, what's a non-evil take, what's a racist take, what's just a silly joke that we tell each other. And since we can't come together on that one, we can't really put a finger on who is a bad person. You can't. I can say I believe Donald Trump has a bad person. What I'm really saying is Donald Trump has displayed a lot of very bad traits and a lot of bad actions, a lot of bad stuff going on. He may be the truest kind of heart person in the world in his heart. He was just totally misguided and this has an off center of, of, of brain activity that doesn't allow him to do the right things by any norm. But by his norm, he's doing fine. And people are voting for him to be our next president. So he's apparently doing fine. Candace Owens is a different story. She's got to make money. She's got to make appearances. She has to bring people into her world to listen to what she has to say. She's in the same boat essentially I am in. Except I'm not saying anything too extreme. I'm trying to I am literally trying to stay conversational in the middle so we can talk to both sides. I'm not just preaching to one side and having those other side people hate me and the other people on my side just sort of saying amen, amen, amen. So in this story, in this issue, in this whole random monologue, if you will, because I have to say something ugly on Thanksgiving, it really is a, a testament to who we are. There are a lot of complicated issues in the Candace Owens part, and I'm not doing an hour-long documentary, so I can't go into all bits and pieces. If I did, you wouldn't listen to the full hour, so what's the point? The point of this is, as the story goes, Candace Owens is now being barred from New Zealand, particularly because she's barred from Australia. That's the reason. They're just using a reason that Australia doesn't want her, so we won't have her either. Australia says she incites sort of riotous activity, very mean things she says, so we don't want her there. Will this be a trend for other people who are on the right who go to places like Australia or go to Europe? Or will there be some sort of equal retaliation from people who see more leftists? That's the real story issue here. She is not barred from any place here in the States. Any place, anybody that wants to sell a ticket to see Candace Owens here in the States can sell that ticket and she will show up and she'll make that money. Right now, her international money is being messed up and she needs some money, I would guess, because she doesn't have the, the daily job she used to have before. So now she's on a speaking tour. She'll have to write some books. She'll do some things to make some more or less quick cash as people do in this, this industry. As I said often, I have a day job that's killing me and it's just driving me nuts, but it pays my bills, not this one. If YouTube and videos and, and podcasts was the way I had to pay my bills, I'd be in trouble because I'm not saying enough things on a spectrum to bring in the, the, the eyeballs and bring in the ire. Because I'm not trying to bring the ire, I'm trying to bring in conversation. She's not bringing conversation, she's bringing her thoughts, she's bringing how she feels about things, she's bringing a line of, of, of reasoning that is very popular. It's just not exactly the one that you would take a look at her and think off the top of her head, your head she would be spotting that popular popular um, thought process, but she is. Comments on Candace Owens, because I know I'm going to get them. You want to call me crazy. You want to start talking about how I need to, as, as last time I did one of these things, stop following master's orders and, and wake up for myself. Those are conversational points. Those are topics. Go for it. Just keep it clean, please. If you more or less agree with me, and don't really like what she's saying, and, and it's gotten past the part where we joke about, you know, maybe she just go away. She's not going away, so that's that's not there. Just bring her up and get what I can out of, out of the conversation and talk about it as it is. And maybe one day I'll be famous enough and controversial enough that people will, will do quick videos and hot takes on me. I doubt that. But if it happens, you know, I will take that in stride and use that to move, move my piece forward on the chessboard. She's playing good chess. She's doing what she can to be a good person in this sphere of influence. And even if I don't necessarily agree, she being a good person with the words she's saying. What do you think about the words she's saying? What do you think about her being barred from Australia and New Zealand? Do you think this will go to other places, other European type nations, if you will? And do you think it will actually be a bit, have a backlash here in the States? I seriously doubt she'll ever have a backlash here in the States because people seem to love her. But we'll see. Comments as you steam them fit. You can put them in the video. You can put them into me via email, via email directly to conversationinbox.gmail.com. Stop by the website. This is conversationproject.com and follow us on all the feeds. 
Check us out for the things we're continuing to do, even though we're taking the week off for things you might have heard. We still have the newsletter going on, so go to the website, subscribe to the newsletter. I should actually put that. That actually is in the. It should be in the um, description of the video, so you can get the newsletter as well. And just let me know what you think about Candace, free speech, and Jay Cleveland right here. Do it all, because we love it.